I'm here. I made it. Gee, we're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's a long way out here. Oh, I figured it must be pretty important if you called me all the way out here, you know. So, uh, you must have something important to tell me. So, I'm listening. I mean, you do have something to tell me, right? Okay. So you, uh, you want to give me the silent treatment, I guess. Okay, well, I'm here, and I can wait. I can wait. That's a sign. My name is Deltas Mitchell, and I'm a hitman for a worldwide crime organization. And this is my story. I'm trying to remember how I got started in this line of work. I don't really remember ever filling out an application or doing an interview with anyone. Not that you would do that in this line of work. It seems like I've been doing this job forever, yet when I try to think back longer than a month, everything gets real hazy. I just can't seem to remember anything. I don't know if I particularly like my job, but I seem to be good at it. People always have this romanticized idea of what it's like, but honestly, it's pretty boring. You spend a lot of time just sitting around, waiting, thinking. The doing is the easy part. It's all the time leading up to it. That's the real work. Every now and then, there, there is a part of me that wonders if there could be a different life out there for me somewhere. A different way of looking at things, perhaps. But the reality is, I find myself in this dark, obscure world which there seems to be no escape from. Little did I know that the job I would do tonight would set a series of events in motion that would make me question everything I do and why.
The upside to sneaking into people's houses and killing them is the fringe benefits. Sometimes I'll take a book or a knick-knack, but most often I'll take loose change. Because if the hotel parking lot is full, you'll need to park in the street, and you'll need to feed that meter, and it only takes quarters. Hey Frank. Yeah, this is Deltas. Um, I, I need to meet with you. Yeah. I just need to talk to you. I need to run a couple of things by you. Now, everything's good. Well, you told me if something weird ever came up to call you. Yeah. Okay. Frank was my contact. He was the one I would talk to if I had issues with a hit or something came up. Frank was a good enough guy, but he liked to use keywords, phrases, and mottos, and those kind of got on my nerves. And his comb over didn't do much for me either. Thanks for coming, Frank. Sure, no problem, D. I'm here for you just like I'm here for everyone. Right. You're here for me just like you are for everyone. What what does that mean, Frank? It's just a bigger speech, I guess. You know, Frank, sometimes I don't think you know what the hell you're talking about. Well, look, it's three in the morning. Let's get to this. Okay. Well, I'm listening. Okay. You told me if anything weird ever started to happen, that I should give you a call and let you know about it. Right. And? Well, some weird shit's been happening. Well, like what? Well, I've been having these dreams lately. I'm out in the middle of a wilderness, and I'm talking to a tree. Talking to a tree? Okay. Everything's so vivid. Everything's so bright. So what's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it per se, but... So you're having these vivid dreams, talking to trees. I know. They're just dreams. But this next thing, it's just crazy. Well, go on. Okay, I get the call tonight. I get there, I do the job. One right in the chest, like I'm told. He dies, and might I add in a very dramatic fashion. Oh. I'm leaving the house and I notice someone floating in the pool. Floating in the pool? Yeah, floating in the pool. I bend down to look at who it is, and guess what? It's the guy shot in the house. He's in the pool. Next thing I hear is the sound of a chimp. Yeah, a chimpanzee. Then the next thing I hear is this big, loud thunderclap. I take off running, I get in the car, I call you, and one hour later, here we sit. This is some weird shit, D. I mean, Twilight Zone weird. I told you. I told you. What do you think we should do? Well... Protocol is very specific about these kind of things. Protocol? Yeah, you may need to see a shrinker. A shrinker? You know, head shrink, mind bender, brain teaser. <sighs> That's just great. Look, I'll set it up and we'll just see what happens. We just need to make sure that you're all right. This is some strange shit. Yeah, tell me about it. Just remember, look twice, shoot sure, and act once. That's the hitman's motto. Do I really need to hear the hitman's motto, Frank? You got a problem with the motto? Look, I'm stressing here a little bit, Frank, okay? Look. I'll call you with the details. You just 
get some rest, stay in your room, and you wait for my call. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Frank. Are we still on for poker with the boys? Yeah, I'd like to play if everything comes out good with the shrinker. All right. Talk to you later, Frank. Thanks. The shrinker. That'll be fun. I just, uh, I don't know, I just feel isolated sometimes, you know? It'd be nice to be in the know a little bit. Just feel out of the loop. I mean, I know we're a big organization and everything, but it just, it would be nice to have a little more detail, you know? So I'd feel more like I was part of something, you know? I just, I feel so isolated sometimes. I just feel, you know, out of the loop.